Hi guys, welcome back. Here's a tutorial about the maker pen itself and like how to use it and the different types of shapes that you can use and to build stuff just just as you can see here. Um, let's just go ahead and dive in and get started here. All right. So the first thing you do is you wanted to pull up the menu with the maker pen. And how do you do that? You just pull up, um, face it towards you, just, just like so. And you can see these different types of options. We have shapes, tools, chips, and colors. I won't necessarily go over the chips for right now, but later on, um, I'll do a tutorial about that later on. So let's go ahead and let's go through all the different options. We have the tube, ribbon, box, uh, sapphire, cylinder, wedge, pyramid, and the trigger zone. Now the tube is really organic here. Take that off snap tool. We'll go into that a little bit later. Um, ribbon tool. We have the box tool. We have the sapphire. We have the cylinder. We have the wedge and the pyramid. Now these are the type of options, that, um, shapes that we have for the time being. Later, more in the future, we'll probably have more options uh, as updates continue. There'll be more options to the maker pen, and we'll get we'll get a lot of that later. Um, so I'm just gonna straightforward with you. So uh, the tube and the ribbon are take up the most space in your room. The more objects that you use, the more space it takes up. Um, and just keep in mind that the ribbon and the tube have a lot of polygons and so does the cylinder. So they take up more space in your room. Just keep that in mind. It's a little tip there. Um, but let's go into in color here. And I'm going to go over the grid, grid structure really quickly. So we have constraint, snap, and the grid scale here. Uh, the grid scale can be set to 1 centimeter, 10 centimeter, and 100 centimeter. Um, constraint just keeps it at a fixed width and height. Snap keeps it on the grid structure, but if you unclick snap, it keeps it. You can do whatever you want. It's like a free for all, so it's not on necessarily on the grid structure. Okay, so if we went into um, tube and we went to constraint, we get a complete straight line compared to what we would have done it without the constraint tool. Same thing with the ribbon and with the box tool, complete fixed height and width. Same with the cylinder, I mean, sorry, um, sapphire and the cylinder. The wedge tool, the pyramid tool, and that just keeps you keeps in mind like that's what happens when you have it uh, set to constraint. So if I unconstrain it, I can move these shapes to a different form. So I can like make this shape however and thin I want to make it. Um, I'll just move that down here. Same with pyramids. So you can make it thin, wide. You can just pretty much do whatever you want with it. So you can make as many objects in different forms as you want with these. Okay, and that goes for the cylinder object, um, the sapphire, the box, and the ribbons pretty much stay the same. So um, that's kind of the stuff you can do. If you have it on snap when it comes to these type of things, so if I had this, I can create these type of nice planks, which means I can create like wooden floors, just such as I did in um, this room here, as you can see, wooden floors. You can create like wooden floors, um, tiles. Alright, so that you can create these like nice really tiles in your room. You can click, uh, create wooden planks, just such you can see in this room. Right now I'm doing an outline of a room I'm kind of just kind of winging it at the moment, but um, this is a box and what you can do is you can create a room space at this size and then blow it up later on and I'll get into that just in this tutorial. 
So and how, how do you keep that all in mind? Go ahead and go to your avatar. Oh yeah, avatar. And you can see like what reflects your avatar and how your scale, you can see where it's actually going to look. Like this looks like a like pretty small room as you can see with your avatar. It's a, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, kind of small room. I would probably make this a little bit bigger, but um, this, you can figure out how to make doors and windows and all these type of objects. So I'm just go ahead and press done. Now done will make sure that all of this information is um is all one group so when i press done this is all one group right now and i can clone it i can copy it um i can make more of more of these all right i'm gonna go into tools uh now here's the tool options we have clone where you can clone shapes edit shapes within a group so i can go ahead and go ahead and edit here and edit these shapes go ahead and delete shapes or delete edit groups and scale them, move them, and connect them. Well, this is only used for the chips, just so you know, and then settings, which is you can freeze and respond things. So if I go into clone, I can clone this edit. Come on. Come on. Clone. Yep. So I clone this group and it cloned it. But if I didn't want to clone these two groups and I only want to clone this sphere in this group, I go ahead and go to edit shapes, editing shapes, go into clone. Okay, this is actually being cloned right now. Okay, so now I have a clone shape within this group. And then I go ahead and press done, and now it is done. And as you can see, it is done. So that is one complete group. Now, um, if I wanna go ahead and delete, I can delete this whole thing at once, or I can go into edit shapes, delete individual group, individual shapes within that group. But if I go back into done and then delete, I can delete the whole thing. All right, so if I wanted to go into scale, I can scale this whole object or make it completely small, scale it again, completely small. And as you can see, it is a lot smaller than it once was. All right, and if I wanna move it, I can move it. Right now it's moving on the grid st structure of one centimeter. So I can move it um, up and down, forward and right, and just like really mess with it. So that's a good way of doing that. Connect is only for the chips. You can connect the chips. I'm just gonna get, just show you real quickly here. So I have a chip there, I have a, another chip. And I will go back into tools and I would connect these and I can like program them. Wait, oh yeah, I can't connect that one. Yeah, so um, you can connect and create games and how many players can come and how many players get shot. And those are the types of things that you can do there. But that will be a tutorial for another time. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And that goes the same with the trigger zones. The trigger zones are really interesting. So you could do what ever happens in this um, space you can control with the chips and use the connection tool to um, connect all of those um, all of that information to happen if you're going to create a game so that's a good way of doing that go ahead and delete that um, so settings another thing about settings so if right now this can be touched by anyone. If I didn't want it to be picked up by anyone, I'll go ahead and freeze that and now no one can touch it. But if I want it to be touched, like if it was a gun or like if it was a weapon and I want it to spawn back to where it was, I'll just set it to like two seconds and I'll just move this way over here as I picked it up and it should spawn back and it did. So you can do that with this here. Now, if I was creating a mask or um, I want somebody to wear this, I can create pr press physical. It drops to the ground, kind of creates some kind of physics to it. But you can like place it on your face, like if you're going to make a mask or armor or whichever, you can have people wear them by pressing physical. Now, if it wasn't physical, it was just environmental, people could still pick it up, but it doesn't stick to their body by any means like it would 
with um, physical. So I'll go back. And those are the simple type of tools for this type of thing. So colors. So if I created a shape and I want it to change the colors, I go into colors and I go into, like I want it to change it black. Go to tools, go to recolor and it changes it changes the color of that shape. So it's really nice when you created a bunch of shapes and you were, really just didn't like the color, you can change the color that way. And as the time as time goes on, um, more options will appear, and uh, you can get the you're just going to see more things happening and happening as the game uh, progresses over time. So that's what's really cool. And I just want to show you because this is I'm in the Re Rubbly Rekla room right now. This is the office room of Rubbly Rekla. This is the first. Uh, this is the end of the quest room that I made of a series of rooms with Harrison and Crow. And um, these are the, we made really really cool experiences, but the, it won first pr place in the contest, the very first contest of Rec Room. And these are all the types of things that you can create. Like I create all these type of like these furniture books, the pirate ship, um, the typewriter. You know, you can create all these type of things within with the maker pen. I didn't use any objects within the sandbox. I just used the maker pen. I always just use the maker pen because there's so much you can do with it and so much you can create and it's just you just really make uh, an imagination come to life. So you know what? Build with the maker pen guys because it's really cool and it's pretty simple too. So you know build away guys. Have fun and invite me to your rooms. <laughs>